you know? When did the first programmable device appear? Torpedo is an inspiration for self-driving? The inventor of the first cruise control system cannot drive? Who created the first autonomous intelligent vehicle? What is DARPA challenges? You will find all the answers in this video. Let's start. The history of self-driving car can be traced back to 500 years ago. The 16th century, Leonardo da Vinci invented a cart that could move without being pushed or pulled. The power was provided by the springs under high tension. The cart could move along a predetermined path when steering was set in advance. The invention is a distant precursor to the car, and sometimes it is considered the world's first robot. Whitehead Torpedo was the first self-propelled torpedo. It was perfected in 1866 by Robert Whitehead from a design conceived by Giovanni Lupis of the Austro-Hungarian Navy. It was driven by a three-cylinder compressed air engine invented, designed, and made by Peter Brotherhood. The torpedo could travel several hundred meters underwater and maintain depth thanks to a pressurization system dubbed the Secret. Torpedo guidance is an inspiration for a wide range of weaponry, aircraft, and other autonomous devices. The autopilot system was forced to develop due to the extended travel times. Mechanical Mike was a prototype autopilot designed by a company called Sperry Gyroscope. It was used by Wiley Post during a 13,000-mile, around-the-world flight in 1933. The autopilot allowed him to simultaneously fly and navigate. The system remain an integral part of autonomous vehicle tech today. Teeter Cruise Control was invented by a talented mechanical engineer, Ralph Teeter. During World War II, the speed limit was set to 35 miles per hour to save gasoline and rubber consumption. Teeter's lawyer was driving him around, and had to keep the speed limit by using the brake very often. He became so fed up with the rocking motion that he developed one of the first cruise control system to smooth out the ride, using a mechanical throttle that could set the vehicle's speed. The driver did not need to touch the paddle to keep the speed. The first car using this invention came out in 1958. One question, why can't Teeter drive? He is blind. It started from an idea of a remote control lunar rover posited by James Adams, who was a Stanford engineering graduate student at that time. The 2.5 second delay between a command sent from Earth and the signal received by a rover on the moon was one of the key questions. The solution ultimately led to the development of the world's first self-driving wheeled vehicle. The cart was equipped with cameras and could be programmed to detect and autonomously follow a solid white line on the ground. The first truly autonomous, intelligent vehicle was created by Sakuba Mechanical Engineering Lab in 1977. This car used analog computer technology for signal processing and had two cameras. It tracked white street markers and achieved speeds up to 30 km per hour. Another milestone in autonomous technology is developed by a German engineer, Ernst Dickmans, in 1987. Apart from cameras, he installed 60 microprocessing modules on the car to detect objects on the road, for both in front of and behind the car. This is one big step towards intelligent vehicle, where the car has dynamic vision, meaning it only focus on the relevant objects on the road. This type of imaging is still in use today, and helps self-driving vehicles identify potential hazards and their location. Human can be the passengers on autonomous vehicles. Another class of autonomous vehicles, like General Atomics Predator, was a remotely piloted aircraft that was designed to travel alone. The aircraft could fly for 14 hours at a time, up to 750 kilometers. The technologies can be adapted for cars, such as radar and thermal imaging cameras that enable travel when the vision is bad.
From 2004 to 2013, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, sponsored a series of challenges that pushed autonomous technologies forward. In 2004, a competition was held to challenge vehicles to self-navigate 241 kilometers of desert roadway, while no car completed the route. In the challenge held in the next year, five vehicles successfully completed the 212 kilometers course. By 2007 the Urban Challenge had extended those successes to a mock city environment. Finally, four cars completed the route in the allotted six-hour time limit. During the development, better software, camera, radar and laser sensors improved the road following and collision avoidance. The autonomous system was sensing the environment and made the decisions. While European researchers has laid the groundwork in self-driving, the US is now a serious contender. In the next video, we will talk about the latest self-driving technology, and the key players in market. See you next week.